I'm Ranger Kuki, and I'm ready to show you a video of the off-grid videos. I have lost three of them, so here they are, and I'm I hope I'm sorry I, I didn't put them in line, but that's the beginning of the off-grid video starting now. Well, hello there, I'm Ranger Kuki. Today I'm going to show you my new camp. I'm doing the off-grid camping system, and I want to show you what I'm doing right now. This is my camping area right here. And right here is tarps to protect myself from people from what, looking back here to see lights or anything or movement. So I'll put these four tarps. There's going to be five. I'm going to put another one over here because I do a lot of tests. I'll walk out and walk back in and see how well you can look back here. Now I'll show you my what I have done so far at my camp. I'm going to make a L shape tarp system. I'm going to use this tree here, this one here, probably attached to that tree, this tree, this tree here, that tree, and this tree. Don't mind my visitor. And to this tree and to this tree, I'm going to have an L-shaped camping system. All tarps with some type of stick going across to hold my tarps. I'm going to move this fire pit a little bit over. I'm going to put my bush chair right here in this corner and maybe have a tarp right here over a cavity. This would be my little kitchen and living area. No, uh, my living area. And over here is going to be my kitchen area. And I don't know where I'm going to put my sleep system, but I'm going to show you this. I've been working on a filter system for our little well we're making. And I'll show you how to make this. Uh, I try to find some type of linen or some type of cloth or cotton to put in there. I drilled a lot of holes. Now I'm going to put some, some, uh, damn it. It's not cotton. There's something else I had and some rocks. That's going to be our filter system. I'm going to show you my well that I have, I have created. Come follow me. Follow me. Gave you boy. And I made little steps to get up and down from this little creek. And over here, I struck out the first time dig. Down here below is water. Right now, it's like really soupy. And I'm going to put that bucket in here. And I'm going to have a little tang on top of it. And we're going to suck up the water. I put that in there to keep everything from falling in. Let's see if I can take it out. Yeah, that was a temporary fix. It was all collapsing. But you see water there. So in a few minutes, I'm going to try to dig that up and put that bucket as far as I can. And I'm going to have a rock and cotton system to filter all the, the stuff and hope we get some fresh water out this this little miniature well. We got sand. When you dig about 5 or 10 feet or 5 feet into the ground, you find sand. Lucky you will have water. And there's the water there. And you know what's good to have on the off-grid uh, camping system? A putty cat. The putty cat will keep the mice and rodents out your camp. He's over there taking a dump. Damn cat. So I'm just showing you my camp off the grid. I brought a lot of milk crates and bread crates out here. I'm going to make chairs and tables out of this stuff. Some of it is going to be hanging, some of it is not. And later on, I'm going to show you how to keep your camp warm with radiators. I hope that works. It's in my head, but now I know if it's going to work. Knowing me, the Ranger Kuki is always building stuff, so you don't have to. All right, I'm Ranger Kuki. I hope you enjoy the first day. I forgot. I put the tarps up and brought some stuff out. Today is the second day it is when I drill the second day. I'm going to drill the holes in. I did. And I guess I'll see y'all in the next round. I'm Ranger Cookies. See y'all next day. All right. It's been about 20 minutes since I made the, uh, made the well. And I'm going to show you what's going on with it.
There we go. One well made for water to live out in the woods. I'm Ranger Cookie. I hope you enjoy our well for our off the grid camping or off the grid. Well, update. I want to show you my latrine and ow, show you how to use latrine correctly. Well, over here, I'm supposed to have ash from my fire. And after you finish using the bathroom, take that ash and spread it over it. That will keep the smell at bay at your camp. And there's my latrine, a milk crate with a toilet seat taped together so you can open and close it. All right, I'll show you a little latrine now. The big question is, you have all this stuff, you've been living in the woods for a week, Oh, well, I don't know what date it is, but the 23rd. So, you've been out here for a long time. You're starting to stink and smell. Well, we'll show you the shower. All right, show you the shower. What I did is took a bucket, and I drilled a hole, put one of these things in, and I put two holes on the top so the water can come out. So now you can take a shower when you out on your off-grid video. I mean, off-grid. When you're off-grid. Now, now, here is, here's my dirty laundry. I've been out here for a week wearing clothes and it's dirty. So now we need to wash them. There's two methods to washing your clothes with buckets. The first method is a bucket. The first method is just a plain old bucket. Throw your clothes in. Put your hot water, your cold water, make it where it's high. Close the lid and slush, 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 slush. And hang your clothes up. Now the second method is take a smaller bucket with holes. You don't want to put too many clothes because it's a small dishwasher. I mean, uh, washer. Place the lid on. And take your bucket and go crush. Now, remember, friction cleans your clothes. Not hot water. Friction. Friction is what washes your clothes. Not hot water. It helps. But if you, you have hardly any hot water or water to use, you got to use the second method. So, long do, let's try it out. All right, let's try this baby out. First, we need some water. And we need a bucket of dirty clothes. Drill a lot of holes. This is for sure another method you can use with this, this item. Now, that should wash your clothes. And the second method is just fill it halfway up, put your clothes in, put the lid on, and shake it. Just like a washer machine. Shock, shock. <laughs> Turn it around and slush it more. Now you can also use your hands. If you don't, oh yeah, a little detergent or something. So if you have some type of detergent, man, these things are dirty. And look at the water, how dirty it is. Because I cleaned it, my clothes. So hot water, it's just, it helps the pores of the clothes, but it doesn't really wash your clothes. The friction does. So after you... Put your lid on and you slush your clothes up. Shaka 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 shaka. 
Now, we're ready to put them on the clothes hanger. Long Star Rider, I, I want to show you this. You remember these little things? I sh I'll show you how to use them. Now, remember a long time ago, a while back, you got some of these? And these are free. I See, living off grid, you try to take and refurbish just everything you can find on the land and or on the street. A lot of the stuff that's in my camp is free stuff that I found. All right, now, you want to take your clothes and hang them up. But first, I have to make sure this thing is tight. Now, take your dirty laundry, hang them on your line, and take your little bread ties, and just do this. Now, you can come on down and blow my clothes. It won't fall off. All right. Boy, these things were dirty. <laughs> All right, socks, same way. Take your little clothes clip, bread clip, or whatever you want to call it. You might want to put two, one, doesn't matter. Da 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 da! <laughs> Damn skaters! your pants. Oh, that water is dirty. I want you to, sh I want to show you that dirty ass water. Show you how dirty these were. And you might not want to put close clips on your pants because they're pretty heavy. Just in case, try to put it on the edge because you're not going to put it anywhere else. That's to keep your clothes from falling off. Now I'm going to show you this dirty ass water for slushing my clothes. This is just slushing my clothes Look how dirty that water is. Now remember, hot water, I mean, if you're living off the grid, hot water is rare, and you gotta use a lot of resources to get hot water. Remember, friction cleans your clothes, not hot water, but it does help. I didn't use soap, because I didn't have any, because I'm living off grid. But I can use the Dawn or whatever detergent soap. It might help get some of the dirt out and keep the dirt from getting back on. That's what soap does. Soap keeps the dirt coming back onto your hands. It breaks apart. And you notice that slushing with this plain cold water works. All right, I'm going to show you one more thing about this bucket that I created that you can use this for for another item. Remember, you're living off grid. And if you live close to a bayou or a pond, you might want to make a bucket like this. Why is that? Now, you take roadkill or some type of stuff that rots that bugs go and fly into and you put it in this bucket with a whole bunch of holes. Put the cap on and hang this over a bayou or the border. And when flies attract to the dead animal that's inside roadkill or dead animal or whatever you have left that you don't want, rotten chicken or chicken that's no good, Put it in this container, and the flies will go in there and lay their eggs. And when the maggots are ready to leave the host, it will crawl through these holes. It will fall into the water and attract fish. So when you throw your line there, you you should be able to catch a fish with this method. So this is the bucket. You can use this for two things: uh, washing your clothes, shuka shuka shuka. And I got holes in it and a bucket within the bucket and you can use this for bait put your road kill in this bucket hang it over the water or throw it in the water after it's been you know cooking for a while you should be able to catch a lot of fish in that location all right i'm reggie kooky and i'll show you my um all right i want to show you just my camp real quick again I've been collecting well water. I got like seven buckets that I filtered through the uh, the uh, Sawyer. I have food buckets here. I got extra buckets. I got my extra pots and pans up here. 
and just go around for an update on my water bellows. I found this little pipe here and it works pretty well. I put a handle and a hole. So watch this baby go. Take your finger off, put your finger on. Take your finger off, put your finger on. So it collects air faster. All right, what else? So that's about it. I just want to show you a little update of my off-grid camping system. Over here, I created a barbecue stand. I took an old screen and just put it here. So it table works. <laughs> and I got some extra stuff, you know, I can use for later on. Tin plate and my little hobo camp here. And that's about it. And I'm ready to open all this up because it's getting warmer now. So I need more air going through there. And that's about it. I'm Ranger Kuki. I hope you enjoy the update of the camp. I got my shower. Look at my shower. I can take a bath. Oh, 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 oh. oh pulleys help. Using pulleys will help you lift this bucket up higher and faster and easier. Remember that. Pulleys, you can pull a car out with enough pulleys. You lift up a car off the ground with enough pulleys. All right, I'm Ranger Cookie. I'll see you next video.